Hi ladies, Claire here, back with another Halloween mini that I've been working on to share with you. Um, this one I've used the Moxie papers and papers from Authentique and uh, some of the Blackbird papers that Ezzy sent me. Um, I've used a lot of ribbons from my stash, just tied them on. Ooh, wrong way. Um, and I've used some Tim Holtz fragments for the charms here, There's one with the spider on and one with the skull and one with some music and I think there's another one uh, well, yeah, one with just some paper on the back and then I put a pair of scissors on there as well uh, just to jazz it up a bit let's put it back on the table the font is a um, Cuttlebug font, but I can't remember which one it is, and I can't find the box that it came in. And then these were just bits and pieces that I bought from my local hobby craft centre. And uh, I've just attached, oh, oh, the closure is just a bobble over a little um, one of the Tim Holtz punches, posters, I should say. So let's have a look inside. This is one of the Moxie papers. I really, really love those. I've just left that one quite plain. Let's put a spider in the corner. And, uh, and this is just a Sizzix frame, retro frame. And there's a spider down here and some feathers and a black flower. And then uh, a tag that pulls out. And then I've put a spider on the back, just embossed a black spider. All the stamps in this book are from the My Mind's Eye Haunted stamp collection. Dimensions for the book are uh, the pages are five and a half by seven and a half, and I've rounded the corners off with uh, my half inch corner rounder, and the cover is six inches by eight and a half. So just make sure that the cover extends over the edge of the pages. Okay, some tags in here. That one's one of the uh, Moxie papers. And then it says, uh, oh, I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> I'm doing this upside down. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Happy Halloween on the back of that one. And uh, another Moxie paper, lovely pumpkins. And just with a, a haunted house on the back. And then the stripes, which is on the back of the pumpkin paper. And there's a, a chandelier on that one. I'll just go in there. And then just a little flip up tab, I've left that really plain, that's with one of the Blackbird papers. And then I've just inked it with the uh, black soot ink inside. This piece I cut out, just drew the petal shapes and cut out the um, shapes of my craft knife. And then put the um, paper underneath just to make it stand out and give it a sort of webbed effect. Let's pop that one back in there. This is one of the Blackbird papers, uh, put a witch on here and then covered the witch and the bat with some um, stickles, black diamond stickles. Made a little pocket. Um, this was a haunted brad from the My Mind's Eye Haunted collection that I had left over. And then um, inked it to make it quite dark and put a little tag in that says spooky. The tag's got a skeleton on the top, a little skull I should say, or a skeleton. And that just fits in there. And that just to hold it on. And a couple of tags in here. Again, that one's made from the Moxie paper, the gravestones. I'll just put a candlestick on the back of that one. And that one has got a couple of witches on the back. And that's one of the authentic papers. The pocket edge I've cut using one of the on the edge dies as well and that fit quite well as the page width is five and a half inches and the dies are five and a half inches as well. This is a pocket page with one of the Tim Holtz Raven Scaredy Cat and Raven die cuts on the top and authentic paper and I've cut a buckle out that was a Sizzix die I put a bat on 
and then I'm to pull out the pocket in here with the witch on the front and then inside I've just cut a strip of paper and put some of the diamond cutouts from the authentic paper and uh, made a belly band for a tag and then put the uh, haunted house stamp on there and that just fits in there like that. There's a magnet under there as well just to hold that shut. This one, I love this graveyard paper. This is a raven that um, I embossed using the Tim Holtz, one of the Tim Holtz embossing folders, the Halloween one. And then I used the black, it's like glossy accents but it's black enamel, um, just to highlight the raven and the tree trunk. And then I cut that out and stuck it down here. And then again the bat's got black diamond stickles on. These pieces I embossed with the Tim Holtz um, poison embossing folder and then just use the black enamel, glossy enamel to uh, put some spider's webs on there and then just made a tag to go in that pocket, left it quite plain on the back but the spider's web paper is the authentic paper so it just fits inside like that Turning over. I think this is my favourite page. It's just a lift up pop up page, and um, there's room for a photograph on the, the mat. It slides up. There's a scaredy cat on there, and a couple of flowers, and then a, a spider I got from my local hobby craft store. This page, really simple pocket, just with a tag that pulls out. Um, this is the blackbird paper, and I put a couple of bats on there, flying through the trees. And then there's some spider web ribbon here, and then a tag that I've just stamped on the back. Put some there. It's a flip page here. Again, I've put a magnet at the bottom just to hold everything together. And then three pages. These are um, belly bands for tags, but I haven't put any tags under there yet. And the same with that one. And the same with that one. So I've just got to finish the tags on there. And then I put a little strip with a magnet on as well, just to flip over the pages in there and shut it up and that holds that closed. I made a little envelope here with um, some black card and I just sprayed that. Use my brayer just to run over rather than putting them through the um, using the I sprayed it using the cosmic shimmer golden mint see that. Really nice colour and it looks good on the black. And then just put a spider on there with a few um, teeny weeny bits of feather just to make it look like he's got hairy legs. That one opens and did I put something inside? Yeah, I'll just put a tag inside. And again there's a magnet under there just to hold that shut. And then I use some of the Moxie papers on the back, I like those bottles. This page I just put a witch on and um, a moon, if you can see that, and then put some orange stickles on the top, and uh, and then made a pocket using the Tim Holtz on the edge die, and put a couple of tacks in there. Again, these are the Moxie papers covered in flies and just left those plain on the back for photos and then the last page I've just again used the um, on the edge die 
I cut the shape out of a piece of card and then cut round it to get that inverted um, shape and some spider web ribbon, a haunted house and then just a couple of photo mats. This one is a double photo mat and I, uh, if you can see, I embossed them using the Spooky Tim Holtz embossing folder and then just inked lightly over the top just to give a, a sort of foggy misty look and then I put a spider um, stamp on the top there. So that was that one. And then this one was uh, again one of the Moxie papers and I've just put a green bottle on the back of that one. And then the back page is the same as the front page, just put a spider in the corner. Again, this is one of the Moxie papers, which are really spooky, I think they're lovely. Um, and used a hair bobble just to um, close the book up. So I hope you like it. I'll just close it up. Thanks very much for watching.